Hi, I'm Sir Simon. Today we'll be talking about forces and pressure, focusing on liquids. Pressure is one of the easiest chapters in Form 4, so make sure you can score when they ask questions from this chapter. So, what is pressure? One easy example is Women's shoes, like stilettos, has high pressure because of its small surface area, whereas men's shoes has very low pressure because of its large surface area. The most common formula for pressure is P equals to F over A. You see, the P is on top and the A is at the bottom, which means they are inversely proportional. When the area is large, the pressure is low. When the area is small, the pressure is high. Now, a very important formula will be P equals to H rho G. This formula is specifically for pressure in fluids. Liquids and gases are all fluids. P represents pressure. H is the depth of fluid, rho is the density of fluid, and G is gravity. Gravity is a constant, it is always 10. It is not given in the exam, so make sure you remember it. The unit for pressure is Newton per meter square or Pascals. Let's look at some popular questions. Figure 1 shows a reservoir with thin walls. A. Compare the pressure at point A and point B. B. If the density of water is higher, what will happen to the pressure at the bottom of the reservoir? C. Suggest two suitable modifications to the reservoir to improve it. Please explain. For part A, the pressure at point B is higher than point A. This is because point B is deeper than point A. The answer for part B is the pressure increases. Using the formula P equals to H rho G, pressure is directly proportional to density. Therefore, when the density increases, pressure increases. For part C, the first modification is thicker walls should be built to withstand higher pressure. For the second modification, the bottom part of the wall should be even thicker. This is because the pressure at the bottom is even higher. Let's look at another popular question. A scuba diver is swimming 20 meters under the sea. What is the pressure acting on him? Given the density of water is 1000 and the atmospheric pressure is 10 to the power of 5 pascals. It's very easy. Just take the formula you have learned just now, P equals to H rho G. Insert H as 20, rho as 1000, G as 10, that will give you 20,000 pascals. But if that's your final answer, it's wrong. You must be careful in your exam. They have given you the value of atmospheric pressure, so you must add it in. So the final answer would be The total pressure acting on the scuba diver is the pressure from seawater plus atmospheric pressure. Therefore, 20,000 pascals plus 10 to the power of 5 pascals from atmospheric pressure gives you 120,000 pascals. So just be careful. Sometimes a follow-up question will be given. What is the force acting on the diver if his surface area is 0.65 meters squared? What formula should you use? Since you have pressure and area, you need to find force. Use the formula pressure equals to force over area, substitute the values and just apply simple maths. Substitute P with 120,000, A at 0.65, they will give you force at 78,000 newtons. Remember, you need to write units for all the answers. If not, you lose marks for no reason. Good luck in the exams! I'm Mr. Simon. I'll see you in the next episode of SPM Top Tutor Physics.